Alright guys, what's going on? Uh, this is part 4 of the process on how to hook up this display. I had originally made 3 and what had happened was I guess I had edited it out because uh, when I made the video you actually was only able to make it 15 minutes long so I must have accidentally, accidentally edited some of it out so I had one of my uh, subscribers asked me to explain something that I kind of missed on the one video so I'm basically just going to go back and give you a quick run through on how this works and uh, I'll try to make this as short as possible because I did go through most of this in the three parts before it but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, show you how this is hooked up originally ha I had uh, four adders hooked up to it and it goes through in binary runs through the decoders and then goes into uh, what I call the line of code, but I'm not, you know, other people might call it other things, but these right here basically are after the decoders, and it's basically the power and how it actually turns on which segment. So the decoders do half the work. The the binary answer comes in, and it'll find the right decoder, and then that'll basically just give you your power. And then once you get it over, you need to have the seven lines of your redstone coming underneath these lines of code and basically what will happen is as you see these torches that are on the angle it'll power the and but they're actually inverted so it'll actually shut off the segments that you need so as they basically go in order this is zero the second one's one two three four and it'll go on and on and what I have this hooked up to right now, instead of the adders, I have it hooked up to a, a timer, a program timer. And I stopped it, so it's actually on the, the number two right now. So as you can see, <clears throat> the answers come through. And here's the answer, number two, zero, one, zero, zero. And basically it'll go in through the decoders and it will go in until it finds the right one and as you can see they're all lit up except for the third one so zero one and then two so it found the right decoder and then what it does is it powers you know the torch and then you take the power over and then it'll tell you which segment to turn on but I'll go back down real quick and just show you how it does that when you build the decoders basically if you like if you look on like say the zero all the torches are on an angle so on zero the answer is zero 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 so none of them will be vertical when you have one the answer is zero 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 one so this torch right here is on is vertical and then the rest will be on the angle and what happens is as it comes through when it finds the right decoder and it hits that torch that's on the vertical one it tells itself to turn that one on and on two the answer two and when that's what's the answer on the display is right there as you can see it's two it comes in zero one zero zero and then it finds that vertical one as you can see right down in there it's the one it goes zero one zero zero and so on but yeah it's that vertical one and it basically turns on and it, as you know it looks like it's actually off but it's inverted so it turns it on and then you just need to run it over and come over to the line of code right here and so it's basically powered and then all seven of these lines down there those are the seven segments so you know whatever way on part three I actually showed you how to do it but there's uh, uh, everybody does it a little different but basically you just need to get power to seven different segments so it'll pretty much look similar to what I have but your, yours might be a little different but you basically need seven lines coming out hooked up to basically power three torches at a time seven different times so on this one what happens is it comes in it turns that line on and as I mentioned in the other video the easiest way to do this is have all the tw all the segments on and only turn off the you know the segments that when the answer comes through instead of turning them all on it's just easier to do it the opposite way and just turn the two small segments off so if you come across and you look I need to turn two segments off to get the number two to show so I need that one and that one to turn off so basically what happens is this 
line of redstone, this power will go across. And it's actually connected to the one on the ground. And uh, so when you put the torch on the side there, that powers it up. And that'll shut, it basically shuts it off since it's, it's inverted right there. So it looks actually backwards, but it's not. So I need this segment and this segment to turn off. And each one's different. If you see like the zero, this is the first one. Here's the zero. All the segments will be on except for the middle one. So that when it comes through, when the, the uh, binary answer comes in, turns the right decoder on, it'll come over, power it on, and just turn that one on right there. So it's basically very simple. You need to put a line, a, basically a bar of, uh, you know, wool, concrete, whatever you want to use, and uh, have it cross the whole way across all seven segments, and then put redstone on top, but you do have to have a torch uh, right at the beginning of it. So then you just put the redstone all the way across it, put the torch where you where you want it, and then that'll basically turn off that segment. So then the one, I need a bunch of them to turn off. So the I have you know five of the segments turning off, and then if you look over, it the one would come on, and the only two that would be on was these two. All the other ones would be turned off.